Welcome to Harley Street Beauty, the brand new show which gives you all the advice you need to look and feel gorgeous. We'll be revealing the top beauty tips and secrets of your favourite celebs. Here at Harley Street Beauty, we have access to some of the world's leading cosmetic surgeons, all the way from Harley Street Plastic Surgery. We'll get exclusive behind the scenes access to a cosmetic surgery procedure, following a patient as they undergo a complex operation. Here's what else is coming up on today's show. Day to night hair with hairstylist to the stars, Jonathan Long. Really simple, quick and easy. Everything you ever wanted to know about breast augmentation. There's at least three different types of implant. Join us at the Smile Clinic for a dramatic dental makeover. I think having these veneers are going to completely change my life. When it comes to cosmetic surgery in the UK, one of the most popular operations is breast augmentation, a procedure which has instantly noticeable results. So it's hardly surprising that almost 10,000 women undergo the operation each year, and that number's increasing all the time. It's actually a very complex operation which presents a challenge to even the most experienced plastic surgeons. No two women have the same breast or chest shape. On top of that, implants come in all shapes and sizes and in a variety of different materials. I join top surgeon James Frame to make sense of it all. If you're thinking about having a breast augmentation, obviously do your research and go in there with an open mind and just listen to what your surgeon, your surgeon is saying, not anybody else. And it's not a bad idea to actually look him up, find out, you know, is, is he actually a member of the right associations and you need to spend a little bit of time understanding what he's trying to say to you and, and the, the role of the surgeon is to actually tell them about all of the available options and the reasons why one implant may be better for her than, than another sort and there's at least three different types uh, of implant which, which are available different sort of styles different sort of shapes different textures that the, the woman needs to understand that each of them in certain circumstances may have benefit to her over the others and uh, once you have that informed consent, then, uh, then by and large it's a straightforward procedure. And she should understand what results she's then going to expect. The jobs when things go south, I think it's nice to uplift them, so maybe, yeah. If you have a small figure and you're like a B or like a C and you want to go for like an E, then I just think it's stupid. Isn't it every couple of years you have to get them sorted out, redone? And you know, it's not worth it, plus you've got scarring as well. We'll go behind the scenes of a breast augmentation operation a bit later in the show. For the majority of women, breast augmentation is a very safe procedure, especially if you're in the hands of an experienced surgeon. However, for a small number of women, surgery can result in complications. I travelled to Hobbs Cross in Epping to talk to Sarah Jane about her experience. Hi. I had the operation in 2004, about two, maybe three, three years after that, I started to feel unwell, just generally out of sorts and not firing on all cylinders, which is really unusual for me because I've always been a complete live wire. At my absolute worst, which was just before I had my implants replaced, um, I was, I couldn't even get out of bed. It was, it was like every morning I woke up uh, with a huge hangover. I felt like I had this like tyrant bug in my body that was just moving around and it was an infection here and then I'd get an infection there and I was on antibiotics for this and then anti... And I was just on this vicious circle and I just felt myself going down, 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 down towards the end. When I went to the surgeon, first question I said was, I've been feeling ill now for two, two and a half, three years. Is there, in your opinion, any connection? No, 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 absolutely no, no connection whatsoever. This is completely safe. It was only after I'd got through and, and you know the problems that I've had um, that I looked into it and I realised that what he actually implanted was a very cheap implant called um, PIP. Visually, they looked fine, but obviously. What was going on inside was just something far more sinister. The surgeon who took them out said that um, for the state that they were in, they had been, they had to have been ruptured for quite a long time. So I have probably walked around for years like this. When he showed me what had come out, I was absolutely mortified. 
not only were they ruptured, they were completely torn open. This gel, or well, the gel inside is now leaked out. It's all into my lymph nodes. What really worries me now is I had no idea that they were in that state. So how many more women are walking around with in, in that state? And I also realized, you know, how badly regulated the cosmetic world is so fatally flawed. If a surgeon is trying to rush you out of the, the, his office in five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, in my opinion, that's a no-go, you know? You should be able to think about it. You are going in for a surgical procedure and that person should wanna have your safety and your health as an absolute priority. And you should be allowed to have as much of his time as you require to make sure that you feel comfortable. And you know, I just thought, I don't wanna be a victim of all of this. I thought I'm gonna stand up and I wanna do something about it. Off the back of what's happened, I've set up a website called uh, the Breast Implants Association.org. That is the Breast Implants Association.org. And what I really urge, ladies, is for you to come forward and come onto this website and please give me your story. Does one of these ladies have to die before anybody stands up and recognises anything? When it comes to immaculate teeth, it seems like there's only one option, veneers. It certainly seems to be the fashionable thing for some of our favourite stars, but does that necessarily mean that veneers are right for you? I'd rather go get like veneers than have braces when I'm older. I think the veneers, yeah, possibly. When you look at Cheryl Cole before she had a veneer, yeah. and you look at her now, they are a prominent feature. It just changes your I mean, your everyone, smile. yeah, everyone talks obviously like with their mouths and their teeth are on show. I'm looking at yours, actually. See, I'm not dying for these. <laughs> um, I think they look fantastic, um, but like you, I don't know whether I'd go to that extreme to yeah. file your own teeth away. No. One person who is desperate for that million dollar smile is 24 year old aspiring model Adam Miller from Birmingham. I think having these veneers are going to completely change my life. Up and coming reality star Adam is obsessed with cosmetic surgery and willing to do anything to get his perfect look. I want to be perfect, I want to create perfection. Today he's come to the Harley Street Smile Clinic to get the procedure he's been wanting for years. It's one surgery that I've wanted for the whole of my life, so the minute I walk out of that dentist shower, I don't think I'll ever stop smiling again. His teeth are quite crooked at the moment, uh, misshapen um, and discoloured, and he just wants that dazzling, white, straight smile. I'm literally that conscious. My mouth is like this, this is how I walk around. Adam's going to go for a makeover, um, so he's going to have top and bottom veneers. So you're going to go out with that. So you won't be able to, be able to see it too much because you're going to be so numb. But uh, yeah, you're going to have a copy of that. Okay. I obviously copied Katie Price because everyone says, oh, I'm just like her and I want to be her and stuff. And to be fair, you know, she's the most famous woman in Britain who doesn't want to be her. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to change my life now. I've had a few people say when I'm dressed up as Jordan I look better than the real thing, so I can't be doing bad. <laughs> it's going to take about a couple of hours or so to do, which is the, the first part, which is preparation of the teeth and putting temporary teeth on. Um, and it's going to come back in two weeks and have the final course and fitted. Can you put Pam there, my friend? Yeah. Pam, sit on this one. Basically, I had braces when I was younger because I was so conscious of my teeth and they were growing all out of ways and stuff. So I had braces and then someone came up to me and said to me, oh, when's the, the train coming past? And that, it mortified me, I didn't go out for days. I got my dad's toolbox and plied them off. That's no cool. No, it's the dust. Oh. <laughs> as long as you plan it correctly, there's no real pitfall to what we're going to be doing. Um, and with Adam, it's a straightforward case. There's nothing um, untoward that I can see. <laughs> Sorry, I can't take it. <laughs> I've had quite a few treatments in the past. I've had uh, skin peels, uh, collagen waves, I have HD brows. You know it, I've done it probably. Adam likes, to, he likes perfection. His teeth's got to be perfect, his nose's got to be perfect. But if you know Adam, you know that's what he's like. <laughs> My mum 
you know, she's my mom. She says, oh, don't do anything. You're beautiful the way you are. That's your temporary teeth in face. Or nice and straight. <laughs> but as I said, we're going to go whiter. And then also with, with these, these temporary teeth, um, when, when you look closely, they're actually all joined in one piece. Um, and also they cover... <laughs> Oh my god! Can't believe it. Oh my god, I'm having it. Okay. So they look alright, don't they? They look more than alright, believe me. That's the best thing I've ever done. And I would recommend it, and I'd recommend this place to anybody. Because I didn't even feel one thing. Did you see what my teeth looked like before? <laughs> ah, perfect. I was tweeting all, all the way through, I didn't even feel anything, I didn't even feel the injection. He's got temporary teeth in worry, but they're called provisional teeth, and they're actually a copy or a close copy of how the porcelain's going to look. So those are there for two weeks there now while the dental technicians are going to make the porcelain up um, and it covers the teeth, but also it just gives them a rough idea of what it's going to look like now with straight teeth. It actually changed my life. This Harley Street Smart Clinic has actually changed my life because they were just horrible. They were, I've always been like this, and now I'm going to be fully smiling once this is wore off. You can't wait to go home and show them. No, I can't wait. I'm going to drive home now and show my mum and everybody. <laughs> I think I might even have a teeth warming party. <laughs> Later on in today's show, we'll find out what happened when Adam got his permanent veneers. We're going to take a short break now, but join us in a few moments. Coming up on Harley Street Beauty, we return to the Harley Street Smile Clinic as reality star Adam Miller gets his permanent veneer. Oh my god, it was like you have completely transformed your whole face with these teeth. We'll get exclusive behind the scenes access to a cosmetic surgery procedure following a patient as they undergo a complex operation. And don't miss your appointment with hairstylist to the stars, Jonathan Long. Take the angles in different angles, don't just do it all one way. At the start of the show, we talked about the complexities behind breast augmentation and what you should look out for if you're planning on getting it. To give you even more of an idea of what to expect, we go behind the scenes of an operation at Springfield Hospital with top surgeon James Frame. Breast augmentation is um, obviously an operation to enhance the breast and, and we use implants. And those implants are generally all silicone based and we are using an implant nowadays that has not only a, a sort of cohesive gel centrally, a silicone capsule, but also a polyurethrene coating. Nice. And we feel that the capture the contracture rate and the complication rate is very much reduced. Um, certainly the reoperation rate of 10 years is very much reduced using this implant over conventional implants. What we actually did on that lady there was we um, obviously put her onto the operating table. We assessed her thoroughly beforehand so we knew roughly what size she wanted. And she helped, we, together we sort of worked out the sort of um, size of implant, which is probably going to be the one that we're going to use. Uh, and then I literally just, on the operating table, you work out where you're going to make your incisions. Uh, for, for these implants, you're better below the breast, uh, and you try and make sure it's, the scar is on the breast at the end of the day. Uh, we make a pocket which goes between the muscle and the breast itself. We lift away the breast from the chest wall. We measure the pocket, the space, make sure there's no bleeding and then we choose the implant, select the implant, put it into a sleeve, put some local anesthetic jelly around it, insert it in with a lubricant, if you like, and then close up. Very straightforward. Very straightforward. Thanks very much, Jim. You're very welcome. It's time for our home beauty part of the show now where we tell you how to get celebrity sheet right from the comfort of your own home with the help of our in-house team. Stylist to the stars, Jonathan Long helps turn your hair from day to night in just a few easy steps. Let's get over to John and his hair school. Day to night hair, really simple, quick and easy. Take your straightening irons to work and then what you're gonna do, spritz with some hairspray, wrap the hair around once, twice and then feed it through nice and slowly the slower you take it through the curlier the curl's going to be we're going to make it nice and simple a bit beachy not too set step two once you've got all your curls don't forget take the angles in different angles don't just do it all one way try and take some going back some going forward some going fully back 
So what that will create, that will create a different shape of curl. Because don't forget, nobody's curls sit in the same direction. As you can see, you don't need to be too fussy with the sectioning. And if you've got really fine hair, it does give it a bit of a thicker look. We've got the curl in, it's all sitting around the bottom. So if you want to give it a bit of a zhuzh, a little bit more extra evening hair, put your head back or even forwards, however you want to go, but I'll go back, get your hands in there and just give it a good shake out. If you find that it's falling a bit flat through the top, give yourself a tiny bit of back combing through the root. So now just to soften it and make it look a little bit glam, you just literally, very gently, with your comb, just flatten it down all the way and then just give it a little massage at the root. That will just create a little bit more volume. Okay, so that's my day to night glam. Hope you enjoy. Earlier on in the show, aspiring model Adam Miller was overjoyed with his temporary veneers. Just one week later, he was back at the Smile Clinic for the real thing. Let's see how he got on. The last week with these temporary veneers has been amazing. I haven't actually stopped smiling for one minute of the day. I keep looking in the mirrors and everything. It's quite nervous today, but I think it's because um, it's the final stage and, it, and it's something yeah. he's always wanted. As long as Adam keeps his mouth open wide, it makes it easy for me and uh, it's all very simple. Well, the temporaries are made of acrylic and plastic, so they're there just to, to give a rough idea of how the end result's going to look, but the porcelain itself is super smooth, super glossy, um, they're all individual as opposed to the tempers being joined, so they just look like proper teeth. Since he's had him in, he's, that's all he's in the mirror, smiling and everything. <laughs> my mum was just like, you, that is the best thing you've ever done. Even my mum agrees that I'm, I should have had these when he has, so. He's never been happy with his teeth, but he's like that, he likes his appearance, he's got to be perfect, so. He's going to love him. He's yeah. going to love him. Um, he won't stop smiling now, he'll end up with Jordan. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have long hair like somebody, I don't know who it is going to be yet, but I'm going to have long hair. And then obviously I have Botox in here, cheek fillers in there, smaller lips like the Angelina Jolie, Jordan's teeth and Radfitch chin. You ready again? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so um, we'll number you up again. You don't need a patient, don't you? You're a good patient. Yeah, you are a good patient. I'm so excited because I just want him to be really, really white and I didn't sleep anything last night. I oh, was so excited. And I've rushed the whole way here. I'm going to put some um, gel on to your gum again. So you go again. Gum down now. I feel like a spaceman. That's how bad my teeth looked. Oh my god. When I got home from the dentist a couple of weeks ago, there was just like, oh my god, there was like, you have completely transformed your whole face with these teeth. And I was just like, I know. I'm Can I put this, this stuff in my mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't drink it. Um, <laughs> when he reaches his mouth, he's like, <laughs> he just met me laugh. It just used to be celebrities coming in or people that were sent by their sort of record companies or model agencies and were told that they have to get it done. Nowadays, it's available and uh, most people are just sort of from general walks of life. I wish I all that I can't feel anything. Oh god. I don't like a witch. No wonder Jordan doesn't like to the seal and everyone ears are off. I've been really nervous about coming today because obviously this is it now. These are gonna be my proper teeth after today. You're done. One day I walked in the with my teeth and then the next day I got them. They are amazing. They're so much better than the temporary, aren't they? I know. It's a mess. Oh, look at this. Quite enough. Yeah. This is what Bear Grylls did. He got a mirror against the light, the sunlight, and he made a fire. The procedure went really good. I, uh, I feel so much better already, even though I can't speak properly at the moment. I, I was a bit nervous when I came here this morning because I was just like, oh God, they can't be changed once they're on. I didn't feel anything. The place, Harley Street Smile Clinic, is absolutely amazing. They've changed my life. Yeah, I absolutely love them and I love how white they are as well. What's next? Oh, I don't know. Um, a chin implant. 
I'm gonna have a Brad Fitch jaw. <laughs> If you want the best tips, hints and secrets to looking and feeling gorgeous, we're here to help. See you next week.